An Orlando police officer is on leave after shooting and killing a man downtown earlier this morning at Jefferson Street and Orange Avenue, just a few blocks west of Lake Eola. Within the past few hours, officers have identi man identified the man who died as 26-year-old Derek Diaz. Washington's Christina Watkins joins us live now from the scene. Christina, there is body camera video of the deadly interaction. Yeah, and Chief Eric Smith says he watched that body camera video. We should be able to see that for ourselves in the next few weeks. That video could provide a lot of answers as to what happened moments before the officer pulled the trigger. Crime scene tape and evidence markers line the streets of Jefferson and Orange in the heart of downtown. It's where an Orlando police officer shot and killed a man early Monday morning. This has been a hot spot for criminal activity where we've seized a lot of guns over the last several months. Chief Eric Smith says officers were patrolling this area a little before 2 o'clock. Officers said they had reason to believe a man identified as 26-year-old Derek Diaz was possibly involved in drug activity. We recovered drugs, and there were drugs that were seen, which caused the officers to, to stop and get out with the person. Much of their investigation centered around this car. Diaz was sitting inside of it when officers approached. They said he did not listen to commands and made a quick movement as if he were reaching for a gun. That's when one officer shot and killed him. Chief Smith says while it's still early in the investigation, so far they did not find a weapon at the scene. Seth Elkins works feet away from where it all happened. It's sad. It's, it stinks. Someone else is gone. The officer is on administrative leave until the investigation finishes, which is normal. It's still unclear what could happen next if, in fact, investigators confirm Diaz's quick movement was just a movement. If there isn't any weapon involved, then back to training, I would say. I mean, you know, maybe look for that kind of stuff before you pull your service weapon. The FDLE is now leading this investigation. The state attorney's office will also look into things as well OPD's internal affairs office. As of right now, Orlando police did not release the name of the officer involved. We're live in downtown Orlando. Christina Watkins, West 2 News.